to, you know, five hundred dollar investment mm. for the rest of your life. Mm. You know. Yeah, I know. I mean, people don't always look at it that way, but no, it is. I mean, I've got a sixteen-year-old son who said, who would always say, "Mum, can you not smoke? Can you not smoke?" And mm. I said, "It's my choice." But um, now to think that, you know, I'm forty, got another forty years. Hopefully, I get to see him grow up, mm. grandkids, da 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 da, and I've probably just extended my life. Yeah. Why would I want to cut it short? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I also had like a really um, strong sense of guilt when I was still smoking, because I've got children as well. And I just felt like, you know, I mean, there was times when maybe money was tight, but you're still spending all Always cigarettes. found the money to smoke, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> you know? And then, I mean, that, yeah. that sense of guilt, you know, it's, you try to pretend it's not there, but it's only when you give up, I think, that you realise, God, you know? How so. much money was I spending <laughs> every week, yeah. Mm. So with people, you know, people sort of our age, a bit older with, with children, it is, I think, that's strong. What about, Young people, right? Because there's a lot of sort of young youngsters smoking, especially girls. I think. Mm. Yeah, like look, it's what? um. The reasons why people smoke. I mean, I don't know what all the reasons are, but often it's it's peer pressure. Or you think it's cool, or circumstances, and all of a sudden you start smoking. The best way not to smoke is just never do it. Don't start. Don't start. Don't put it in your <laughs> mouth. Like, you know, whatever the temptation is. You think you want to, it tastes disgusting, don't do it. Mm. Don't even try it. Mm. Because you, it becomes a habit and it, and you need to be able to break that habit. Mm. So it's the best thing is just don't start it. Don't start it. Don't start it. Because the only problem, I guess, with young people is maybe they're not going to see the value in spending that money you know, to, to use hypnosis to give up. So. No, don't start yeah. <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, basically, yeah. But unfortunately, you know, so many young people can't be told. Mm. They, they, you know, they've got to learn the lessons for themselves. Mm. So, you know, yeah, if they, if they do start smoking, and in three or four years' time, they go, look, why am I doing this? I don't want to do it. Spend the four, five hundred dollars and get hypnotised. Mm. And, and give it away. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, Janet. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. I think you might help a few people with that. Thank <laughs> you.